Hey guys, Maester Ironwood from the Ironwood Network Book Club Podcast, here with another theory video for Season 8 of Game of Thrones. Uh, one of the biggest mysteries to come out of the Season 8 premiere episode was the weapon that Arya asked Gendry to make for her. Uh, if you are a careful book reader, you might already know what this is, but from what I'm seeing on YouTube and all the speculation from fans and theorists, not too many people actually have an idea of the importance of this weapon and the person who wielded it and how it can relate to Arya's story here in the TV show. So I'm going to go ahead and take a few minutes and talk about this weapon, where it comes from, and who wielded it in the past and why that might be important to Arya's storyline. The Arya and Gendry reunion in the premiere of Game of Thrones' eighth season was one of the best scenes of the night, at least in my opinion. It was heartwarming, it was light, and it was everything that I expected it to be. But it also spawned a mystery. What the heck is up with that weapon that Arya wants Gendry to make for her? It seems like everyone wants to know, or has their own theory about it. Now, if you're a careful book reader, you might actually already know the answer to this. However, show-only fans probably have no idea about the actual story behind this weapon. The weapon that Arya has asked Gendry to build for her actually dates all the way back to the Age of Heroes, before the last long night actually fell upon Westeros. And it's part of the story of one of Westeros' greatest heroes. Simeon Star Eyes was a knight of epic proportions. He's been immortalized in song throughout the ages, next to the likes of Serwyn of the Mirror Shield, Brandon of the Bloody Blade, and Florian the Fool. He lost both of his eyes and replaced them with blue sapphires, which led to the name Star Eyes and a lot of Night King slash White Walker theories regarding him. Now, even though he was blind, he continued to fight and accomplished some epic feats in battle. And his weapon of choice was a staff tipped with weapons on both ends and that could be broken apart in the middle to create two shorter fighting weapons. Sound familiar? When you look at the drawing that Arya gave Gendry, this is exactly what she has asked him to build for her in the TV show's final season. And it makes perfect sense given her training arc in Season 6. Remember, Arya was trained to fight blind and with a staff, and she got so damn good at it that she was able to defeat the Wave both in the House of Black and White and again in the dark when the Wave had come to kill her in her hidey hole in Bravos. All of this makes Arya a great Simeon Star Eyes parallel and a weapon tipped with Dragonglass on one end and Valyrian Steel on the other could be absolutely devastating against the White Walkers in the hands of a highly skilled staff fighter like Arya has become. In our recent breakdown of Season 8, Episode 1 of Game of Thrones, Lady Wyvern, my co-host on our podcast, put out the idea that Arya could get a kill against the White Walker in the dark in the upcoming battles of Season 8. And I happen to completely agree with this idea. It seems that there are some incredible parallels between Simeon Star Eyes and Arya Stark that the TV show is playing up. They were both known to fight blind with staff weapons and were incredibly good at it. Given this connection, I am 100% convinced that Arya is going to kill at least one White Walker in a battle in the dark where she can't see. Now this could either be from fighting in the crypts after the torches have gone out, because remember the White Walkers and the Night King put out fire as they walk by with their coal, or perhaps she's been blinded somehow during a battle before this scene takes place. Whichever way it happens, I think it's going to be an epic fight and a pretty badass kill. Now, as a fan of the books, I absolutely love this drop-in from the TV show. Paying attention to some very specific details in the book that even a lot of readers I've seen making videos about this weapon have completely missed. 
Plus, it's a great little introduction to some ideas and history of the Age of Heroes. And that could all link back to the new show coming out from HBO after Game of Thrones wraps up, which is set way back during the Age of Heroes and the time of Simeon Star Eyes. Maybe we'll get to see him in that show, wielding the same weapon as Arya? Who knows? But that could be pretty friggin' badass. Thanks for taking a few minutes to listen to my thoughts and theories on this weapon and the story behind it that we get in George's books and how it could be pretty cool to see on the TV show in the hands of somebody like Arya Stark. If you like my breakdowns, go ahead and check out our podcast, the Ironwood Network Book Club, where we break down the A Song of Ice and Fire books chapter by chapter. Subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Give this video a like. And if you'd like to contact us, you can reach us on Twitter at Ice and Fire Pod or by email at ironwoodnetwork at gmail.com.